Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue. Overnight we got our first snowfall of the year, and oh boy guys the phones have been ringing, we've had cars sliding off the road all night long, and it's been a busy night here, but I thought hey why don't I stop by the diner to get a few cups of coffee, because I'm definitely going to need that throughout the day here, but why don't we hop in the Toyota Tacoma, head on over to the shop, and hop in one of the tow trucks and go help some people out. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I put the pickup in four wheel drive here, we definitely need it here, it's about 8 inches of snow, and usually the first snowfall of the year, it's always a bit tricky, people are sliding off the road, and they really have to get used to winter driving in the snow, but yeah, it looks like the county plows have started to plow out some of the roads, some of them seem to be clear, while others seem like we are just driving through uh, almost a full 8 inches of snow here, but like always, when you run a tow truck company, it is just a busy uh, time of uh, the year here for us, but we're here at the shop, let's take a quick walk through of our trucks. A few of the trucks have been out all night here, including our F550 rollback, we have a second small record, but here we have a 2011 Ford F550, this is a record, it's a 1 ton, and this does have a winch and everything on it here, and then here we have it guys, HR150, our Western Star Rotator, this thing I believe is 50 tons here, so this thing guys is very serious, it's meant for the big calls here, but the first call we have is for a plow truck driver, he was plowing a driveway and he went off into the ditch off the side, so let's go help him out. Now I'm really excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series, it has been quite some time since the previous episode, and I definitely want to do a lot more winter videos like this because there is always uh, crashes and always uh, vehicles that uh, need tow trucks in the winter months here, but it seems like there's a little bit of traffic this morning, it's a bit surprising, maybe uh, since everyone started to get shoveled out, uh, they're uh, deciding to get out of the house more. And we're coming up on the driveway here, wow, that definitely needs a winch out here, I don't think four wheel drive is going to get you out of this one here, whoa, you guys can see, looks like he meant to plow this driveway here, and just went completely off the roadway here, so let's see here, it looks like it's sitting on the frame, I don't really see much damage to the plow, yeah, no damage, uh, this is just going to be a simple winch out here, so, I'm thinking we, we're going to have to watch out for traffic. Wow, we're already causing a traffic jam there. But why don't we get the truck set up probably 10, 15 feet back. And let's see if we get this thing winched out. Alright, that should be good there. Let's take the winch here. We'll just slowly pull it out. It sometimes is a little rusty, especially frozen sometimes. But we'll get attached here to the tow hook here. Let me get the remotes. Let's see if we get this thing pulled out. We got the truck back on all four wheels here, now one thing you might have noticed there with the camera and tripod is that uh, the road is so slippery guys that our tow truck was actually slotting around so much that I had to readjust once or twice here, we just couldn't get the footing we needed with a tow truck to be able to get the best pull here, but we got it done and we just got paid here, so why don't we head back to the shop, wait for the next call, and wow that was a little tricky, a simple winch out is even harder with the slippery conditions, but wow, look at that guys, there's several deer, almost a half dozen there running off in the wood line there, that is so awesome, they must be liking the snow. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far, let me know how it is down below here, my day's been pretty awesome, and I'm just excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series, it's a lot of fun getting to do these calls here, but I'm going to go head inside uh, and wait for another call.
We just had a call come over the radio from the local sheriff here. We have a big town plow truck off the road into a ditch, and we're going to need HR 150. And this one, guys, is going to probably be one of the biggest calls of today. The fire department that is there, the sheriff is there, and they are requesting assistance. We really need to get over there. One thing I probably should have done is to put tire chains on. That way, we have a little bit of a better traction here, but this... Uh, I'm not uh, surprised by this call. This is the steepest road here in town is where this accident uh, crashes. So let's go give them a hand. Running the Western Star Rotator is always a lot of fun here. This is a mobile crane on wheels meant uh, for towing recovery work here. And this thing, guys, has very strong winches. And this is just the perfect setup here. I only try to use this on the big calls just because of how expensive it is to run a truck like this here. But let me know, guys, if you do have any cool heavy rescue ideas down below here. Now, one thing I might want to do is to put strobe lights and a siren on it since I do know uh, some areas you could actually run uh, with the, the sirens over to the calls. But, oh, yeah, look at that. They got the road closed. And just in the distance here, I could see the truck off the roadway. Wow, guys, look at that. Let's take a quick look here before we get going. Wow, this is going to be a bit tricky here. It's fully off the road. Now, they did say that it is fully loaded with sand and salt here. So, this is going to be an extra tough pull. But that is like a like a 35 to 40 degree slope. Yeah, this is almost going to be a little bit of a tug of war uh, just with how heavy the truck is. But I'm thinking, why don't we get set up kind of up the hill quite a bit is what I'm thinking. That way, we have a little bit more of a stable ground here. It's just so tricky. Look at how steep this road is. Uh, I'm quite surprised uh, that we haven't had more calls on this road today. I'm thinking right about here will be perfect. We'll be able to get a direct pull on the truck here with the rotator. We'll get a little bit of a lift here. That way, it helps us out lifting it up over the... Uh, uh, corner of the hill there which is going to be perfect right about there should be good let's get uh, the winch hooked up here now these winches guys um, hopefully they aren't too rusted in and let's see here we'll just slowly pull the winch all the way over here and we'll get it attached to the uh, tow hitch that should be a pretty strong area And right there should be perfect. Well, I'm going to get the remote out here. Let's uh, get to pulling this out. And let's see how uh, easy or maybe how hard it's going to be. Look at that, guys. The rotator did its job here. We got it back up here. We should probably pull it a little bit more. And then I also want to make sure it is in park that way. It's not rolling all the way back down there. But the rotator having the ability to adjust the arm really does help out here. Let's put it in park. We'll also put a uh, uh, block under the tire. That way it doesn't roll down here. Now, one thing I want to check is for any damage here on it. I don't see anything to the front bumper. I mean, the plow frame probably took most of the impact into the side of the hill here yeah the plow looks okay uh, yeah this truck looks like it could uh, get back to plowing snow which is probably what the town wants here so i'm going to get this all put away we have to uh, uh roll up the winches back into the spools and uh, get the uh, uh wrecker ready to go back to the shop All right, guys, I'm ready to get going here. So I'm going to put down the camera, go grab some lunch, and wait for the next call to arrive here. But it's been a busy morning here, and hopefully we get some more calls here. And, hey, maybe I will bring the camera along for some more uh, recovering here in the snow. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.